How's it going everybody? Joshua August here. Super good to see you. Many of you know me as the video guy or the funny person, but I'm also a writer. I'm giving away my new book as an ebook on Amazon for free through July 19th. It's called The Spirit of Elijah Prophecy, How Elijah and Moses Failed in the Fathering Process, and How We Can Learn to Father with God's Heart. Most of us are familiar with the prophecy in Malachi 4, 5, and 6. God is going to send Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord. He's going to turn the hearts of the fathers to the sons, the sons to the fathers, or else he's going to strike the land with a curse. Now this scripture tells us two things. If God's going to have to do that someday, that means there's going to be a point in history where the hearts are going to be apart. And I believe that that time is now. It also tells us or else. There's a chance that this could actually go wrong. And I believe that some people are missing it and God's doing it now and he's doing it differently. I tell you about it in my book. Throughout the Bible, there's many stories of God changing hearts. There's scriptures about how difficult the heart can be. And sometimes the Lord has to redirect us and change us to get us onto the right path. This book includes true stories and testimonies, including my own, where God literally is getting involved and he's actually changing the hearts to get us on the right track. I also answer burning questions like, why did God even choose Elijah? As far as we know, he was never married. He didn't have any children of his own. It's just really interesting that they would name a father movement after him. But he did have Elisha, a spiritual son. But I also talk about how Elisha's anointing passed away with him. Remember when the robbers were thrown on his bones and they came to life? Elisha did not pass on that mantle. Like I said, raising up the next generation is imperative to move forward as a people of faith. Get my book, I promise you it's a perspective like you've never heard. Once again, it's available on Amazon through July 19th as an ebook. It's only about 80 pages, so you can read it in about two hours easily. Get your copy today, you won't be disappointed.